very much should have been dead there. Centaur is still gonna catch up. He's trying to zigzag. This time though, Nico will hit, but that means RL goes in. Okay. Gonna trade out there. Nico with the rolling thunder is getting real aggressive. One or two more hits, and then I think he can finish it with the swashbuckle. Not missing this time. Now's the time I want. Uh oh. Okay. B God does get taken down elsewhere on the map, so. You know, it's not 100% clean across <laughs> the entirety of that fight, but if you can get the Pango going, if you can really build momentum here for Nico, that's going to matter so much more than losing the techies for the second or third time. Well, the FM. do still come out though and that does allow Nico to get in there for the kill so feeling really did everything he could to try and stop it it just wasn't enough now can Nico roll away well swashbuckle actually two swashbuckles coming out as Moonlight had stolen it but I think Nico should be able to get himself at least into the tree line the question is is that enough to actually live right now he's still getting hit up by that life drain but they haven't finished him off yet but there's the hook Nico somehow still not dead. He's gonna kill Moonlight. They still have not finished him. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> Somebody brings an end to that reign of terror as because <laughs> feeling uh, I understand the attempt there, right? He wants the rebound stun to make sure the hook connects. Instead, he's standing in front of it and um Nico's going. Nick is thinking, his his blink is coming out to him though, he can wait maybe two more seconds, no, he's just gonna go in, the Garpy still connects, and it's swashed by Nico dishing out the damage, they're gonna take down one, they get a second kill as well, he is dropping low, can they somehow save him? No, they can't, all of a sudden, lies fighting by himself. He's not fighting for all that long, four kills, no deaths, Moonlight is in trouble. Yep. Get a swashbuckle to hit onto him. They get the inhibit into the skewer, into the shockwave. It's gonna finish it off. Five man white. Are scanning. away and now here comes Nico rolling around well they found two kills they would like Moonlight as well as Nico's gonna continue chasing after him they picked that one up and now RRL Radiant's middle tower is under attack Radius can't die here I try hitting them up here comes, here comes Nick in RP committed Follow-up damage. There we go. Argus does get taken down. Feeling falls as well. B-God picks up... Damage from B God is it enough to actually kill though? Uh, not quite, but Nico does come in. He'll finish the job. Did I don't think it's going to help out lies either, but he has it. Radiant's bottom are under attack. <laughs> I mean, what's his opportunity? Yeah, their base is under attack. Scourge is just going after it, as you said. Scourge Town. Uh, Radiant's bottom an unincorporated town where Scourge makes all the rules and nobody can stop him. As middle lane, there's your RP being deployed. The stolen one onto B God, and they do kill him off. 
straightforward game Radiance at this stage. Is under attack. They're going to push their way on to the high ground mid as well. Tier 3 tower under attack. There's going to be an attempt from Nick. Not a bad one, but RL jumps away. And now Lies gets a hook off. They're going to pull the Magnus back into the fight. Nico, meanwhile, trying to create a distraction. Rolling his way in. He kills off feeling, but he can't save his teammate. Nick has been taken down. That's a, it's a buyback from the Marcy that... I'm not really sure it was 100% necessary, but hey. Feeling is now with his teammates after the death, and at the end of the day, they did get- Oh my god, they did get the Magnus boys. Stop. Running into multiple mines. There you go. Hook him down from the high ground. Uh, feel Feeling. Just because he's dead doesn't mean the mines are. As Nico, yeah, gets caught by a stolen skewer. Are you- Nico, really? Going for it. Oh, <laughs> that's. Radiance Middle Barracks are under attack. Okay. There's the RP though. Is it going to be enough? Scourge does get off the Sunder and he's just going to start destroying people. Three dead already. Buybacks out from anyone who still has it. Maybe not quite anyone. RRL isn't using his, but... There's really not much left to, to hold it for. If they're going to try and do something, they need to go now, but Moonlight gets picked off, and... Well, now it's just down to the Luna, who is hitting up Nico, but there's the horn toss. Come on, guys. That's just a little bit harsh. Argus does find a kill, but... It's, uh, it's a kill, and he is now down for the count. He's got 50 seconds on that death timer. He could buy back. Uh, RRL could have bought back too, but at this point, I, I kind of get the feeling, ET, that they, um... They might just be tapped out here in terms of what they want to do. They are going to make a move now, though, with multiple heroes coming back in. Uh... Double damage. Absolute degenerate. If you if you know what you're doing on techies, I don't like you as Nico. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. A little bit too far forward there. Gets himself picked off. Well, yeah, is it gonna matter? Because Scourge is just charging his way in. He actually pops the zeal as well, so well, he would be doing a lot of damage if he hadn't been disarmed, but there's gonna be the jump in. They've caught lies. The pullback with the skewer should be an easy first kill. Uh, Scourge. He's losing a lot of life here, but that's what the Cool, he'll try again later. Oh! Yo, the fish fights back, man. <laughs> God, I don't really think he even cares. He's got so much mana, doesn't have long to wait for those charges, so he's probably just gonna immediately reset all of that and... Midas alive but on life support at this point still can't leave their base and now they need moonlight back in because according to argus his pc crash you sacrifice rubik he's gonna be up in 20 but here's where the move gets made the cut they're gonna push forward they don't have aegis so they do need to be a little bit careful about this and, okay nico that's not careful in the slightest that's just bold as he will push forward but nick was able to get off the rp into the skewer connecting on the three he lies already dead feeling gone as well argus trying to fight him with the eclipse but he does get taken down he doesn't have buyback available and that should finally put a cap on this match Radiance is under attack. Down. <laughs> 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 